now your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. So for the rest of the afternoon, I think we have a good chance of seeing some more heavy rainfall at times. I don't think we'll see it as heavy or continuous or widespread as yesterday, but there'll be pockets around today, no doubt. 60% chance of seeing some rain, and as we head into the evening rush hour, that rain chance still remains high. It'll start to taper off, taper off after daytime heating starts to wane as we head into the midnight hour. We're at 40 percent by tomorrow morning, about 20 percent. I think we may get a chance at seeing a little bit more sunshine around tomorrow morning and a chance to dry out, which is a good thing. We're looking at some scattered showers now moving into parts of Charlotte County. Some moderate rainfall in some cells, but most of it is uh, light to moderate rain. Uh, we'll probably see this coverage begin to increase over the course of this broadcast anyway, and certainly by into the afternoon hours. So here's our system and uh, the the chances of it developing over five days has increased to 40% now from yesterday's 20%, which is not surprising because today's forecast five days out includes an extra day. And this system is really not going to have a chance to develop until later in the week. So as we head into the subsequent forecasts, um, I think we'll probably see those chances maybe rise just a little bit or, or stay at about 40% perhaps with time. Tomorrow, I think high pressure builds in a little bit and maybe retreats a little bit. And that brings us a, a chance of seeing a little bit more sunshine in the forecast tomorrow. A little less rain chance. We'll still see some showers around, but it won't be, I think, as heavy. Then as this low lifts into the Gulf water, our rain chances will start to increase, particularly on Friday and then into Saturday and Sunday. I think it's going to be very rainy, depending on the eventual track of that low, its intensity, and its eventual location. So heavy rain possible for this afternoon in isolated pockets, and then some drying tomorrow, maybe a little bit more sunshine for a day or two, and then possible heavy rain this weekend. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and call first alert weather days this weekend simply because there's a potential of some flooding rainfall in low lying areas and already saturated ground. So spaghetti plots of this system are kind of really all over the place. You know, there's a big spread still, but we're starting to see some little convergence up around the northern Gulf Coast of a few of the models, mostly the Canadian models. We're still waiting for some later runs of the other models, other global models, but Generally speaking, I'll show you the model differences coming up in a second. We have a loop of relatively warm waters in the uh, central Gulf. That's the loop current, and it's a kind of a semi-permanent feature out there with temperatures in the mid-80s, plenty warm enough to support tropical activity. Closer to the coastline, the water temperatures are a little bit lower, so we wouldn't expect to see much intensification if it took a track closer to the Florida Peninsula. Also, winds are limiting the development of this system right now. In this image here, the blue winds are the stronger winds, and right now, the stronger winds are located in an area that it just won't have much of a chance of developing. But as we progress through time by Saturday, the winds start to relax. The red bullseye is a prime area for some development to possibly occur, at least in terms of shear, and that will be encompassing a lot of the northern Gulf waters with time helping to aid. So this is the American forecast, and it develops the system and takes it up toward the state of Florida as a uh, weak tropical storm, perhaps a, a thousand five millibar central low. I wouldn't really concentrate on that too much, but it does put a lot of rain in the west coast of Florida. The European model forecast takes it a little bit further to the north along the north central Gulf waters. And here again, the potential for some heavy rain is possible, but as it develops it and pushes it further toward Louisiana Delta region, perhaps our rain chances down just a little bit compared to the GFS model. So there's time to evolve and watch how this system takes shape with time. Southeast wind at about 5 to 10 for boaters today. OK, I think uh, we will need to keep uh, close attention on the weekend forecast for you boaters, though, because that's the one that really matters. Uh, watch for a reduced rain chance for a couple days. Then as we head into the weekend, our rain chances really do go up. Potential for some heavy rain. I wouldn't be surprised to see some flood watches posted pretty soon for the uh, for the weekend and the potential of some heavy rain, and that really continues right into Memorial Day Monday, I'm afraid.